I can't wait to try these. Oh, I can't wait to try these. Woo! And I got a shirt. And I got a baby bowl. Let me wash my bowl out. Hey guys, it's me, Brittany, AKA Pineapple Vegan. So this video is sponsored by Koyo Brands. They are a noodle company. And I'm very excited to see what they sent me because I love this noodle brand. Um, I've actually posted them on my Instagram and my Facebook before, but I can't wait to go ahead and get into this box, you guys. Um, they aren't all the way vegan, but they do have a lot of vegan options. I can say that much. So let's go ahead and get in here and see what they got. Mm -hmm. I'm not good with sharp objects unless I'm cooking food. Anything else is dangerous. Ooh, uh, fancy. Fancy. Okay. So, koyonoodles.com and at your local Whole Foods. And I actually find these at my um, Kroger and Sprouts as well. So, yeah. And here's a little card. Oh, wow. So, this card actually teaches you how to build an epic umami bowl so let me get past all my all the fancy all the fancy little shreds Ooh. Ooh. move the shiitake mushroom is actually one of my favorite flavors i actually have some of this in my pantry right now and then buckwheat shoyu ramen The tofu miso, I love this one too. I haven't had the buckwheat one so far. I've had the shiitake and the tofu miso. Let's see what else I have. Asian vegetable ramen with um, reduced sodium. So I've had the Asian vegetable, but I haven't had reduced sodium. So yeah, I can't wait to try that. Lemongrass, you guys, I've had this one too. It's like, it has like a little, not really a strong zest, but you can definitely taste the lemongrass in there and it's really good. Ooh, look. I like giving goodies. Oh, they sent me organic udon noodles. So these are the round udon noodles. I'm definitely gonna be using this and this is the wide udon. So these are the flat noodles. So these are the round ones, these are the flat ones. Y'all, they sent me some good stuff. I'm excited. Oh, how cute. <laughs> so they sent me a ramen bowl with my own chopsticks. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Okay, Koyo, this is so cute. I'm excited, y'all. Okay, so this is a true ramen bowl because it's super deep. It has the brand on the inside with the label. And guess what? There's a little spot for you to stick your chopsticks. Super cute. What else? It's more. And they sent me this cute, oh my gosh, super cute shirt. I'm gonna wear the heck out of this shirt because I love noodles. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna like probably cut it and tie it up. <laughs> Cause y'all know my style. This is super cute. Noodles are life, Koyo, yes. Noodles are life. So, so true. Okay, you guys, so obviously I'm not gonna just open the box of noodles without trying it. I wanna try out the ones I haven't tried before. So the ones I'm gonna try are the buckwheat shoyu noodles. It has vegan right there on the package. So there's no confusion about that. So you are supposed to use um, one and one third cup of water. I didn't use that much only because for these types of noodles, I don't like for them to be too soupy. Unless I'm in a soupy noodle mood, I'm really not in a soupy noodle mood right now. Everything's childproof these days. This looks like your standard noodles, but you can tell that they're buckwheat. You can tell that they're organic. They don't look all plasticky. And then we're gonna put the contents 
of it in there. And you're supposed to cook them for about four minutes. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna turn my heat source off because the water is pretty hot. So the water is still gonna keep cooking it even though I took it from the heat source. Hendrix ain't even thirsty. He's just drinking water because he want to be seen. So let's try it without seasoning first or my seasoning first. Mmm. They're good. So these particular ones are not as flavorful as the other ones. They're more on the healthy side. What do you expect with buckwheat? But they are really good, if that makes any sense. So I would definitely go ahead and add in my chicken salt. Not a lot, because it doesn't need a bunch. Ooh. And then a little bit of nooch. This is how I eat all my noodles. And you don't have to add that stuff if you don't want. I like super seasoned food. But even the stuff that I did add, I barely added anything extra. I love how light the noodles are too. They're super light. They don't feel super thick and heavy like other noodles, leaving you feeling a little sluggish at the end or guilty. Mm. I'm making a mess. Okay. Oh, that's good. You wanna know why I don't do a lot of eating videos? Because I don't eat cute. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna eat these noodles. I don't want to get messy. So I'm just gonna eat them like this. Oh, it's too hot. It's not gonna do nothing. You gotta blow it. Try to record a video. My kids keep talking, not understanding. That I don't care about going to jail. Take me to jail. Take, Take me, me to jail. jail. Knock me out. Knock me up. Go away, the kid. I'll fight kids like that. He up there in his game. Oh man, I'm gonna kill you. Come right back, man. Yeah. No. Oh, bro. What are you doing? All right, you guys. So there's that. These noodles are bomb. That was my first time trying the buckwheat ones, and they are very good. Honestly, I love these as like starters for any meal. Like you can actually make the noodles in a stir fry. You don't have to have them on their own. And I can't wait to use the udon noodles, the round ones and the flat ones. I can't wait to wear my shirt. Thank you so much, Koyo. I cannot wait to use all this stuff and eat up all this food. But thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and click that notification button so that you will be notified whenever I upload videos. Thank you so much for watching and go buy you some Koyo noodles. You y'all, these noodles are legit. So yes, thank you guys so much. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.